suspect arraigned from the hospital today. All right, tonight we're waiting for police to release body cam video of the incident. Fox 5's Antoine Lewis live at Brownsville, Brooklyn tonight with the latest on the investigation. Antoine. Steve and Teresa, good evening. Good evening, everyone. We're also waiting for a news conference to start, which is why I'm keeping my eye on what's going on behind me. A news conference called by the family of the most seriously injured bystander in this incident. This, as the suspect the police have identified in this case, had his first court hearing earlier today. 37-year-old Darrell Nichols was arraigned via Zoom from a hospital bed charged with criminal assault, possession of a weapon, and menacing. On Sunday afternoon around 3, police say that Nichols charged at officers with a knife while on the platform of the Sutter Avenue subway station in Brownsville, Brooklyn, prompting the officers to open fire. The gunfire hit Nichols, a police officer, as well as two innocent bystanders. A 26-year-old woman was grazed in the leg, but more seriously injured was 49-year-old Gregory Del Pesh. A stray bullet struck Del Pesh in the head, and he remains in critical condition at a local hospital. In court Friday, prosecutors say before bullets rang out, police saw Nichols jump a turnstile and asked him to leave. About nine minutes later, he came back. And the defendant is then observed walking through the gates with an object still in his hand, um, enters without paying his lawful fare in front of the same officers, walks up and is followed by these officers. Officials say Nichols refused commands to drop the knife and twice tried to tase him unsuccessfully. At that point, the defendant uh, went back onto the platform and chased after one of the officers with the knife in hand, blade exposed. The NYPD is defending the officer's actions and have said that body cam footage will be released to ensure transparency. Some demonstrations took place this week in protest of the shooting and attorneys for the family of Gregory Del Pesh are set to hold a news conference Friday afternoon. Authorities say officers told Darrell Nichols at least 38 times to drop the knife before the chaos ensued. He pleaded not guilty and bail was set at $200,000. Nichols' lawyer spoke shortly after the hearing. I think the bail still is very high and I can just tell you just from briefly speaking with Mr. Mackles before uh, the, the arraignment that he, he maintains his innocence and I, I think that you know there's a lot to be explored in this case. Police say that Darrell Nichols has a lengthy crisp, uh, criminal history and he is known to them. Once again, St Stephen, we're keeping our eye on what's going on behind me because we're anticipating a news conference from the Del Pesh family and their attorneys where we would then hope to update what's going on there with his condition. But this is the very latest from where we are in Brooklyn. Back inside to you. All right. Thanks, Antoine.